kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on Sound Recorder Pro app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So I missed something in my previous video. So first of all, I will do that, and then I will uh, write the code for the record fragment. Okay. So let's go to our uh, fragment record, and here. you will see that we uh, need to set the progress variable to our progress bar so here mm, yes we can say and also we will write the code for the progress bar so here we can say progress variable and it will be variable slash record progress bar all right and we will create this sorry so here let's go to our drivable and click on new drivable resource file and we need to name it as record progress bar click okay and there you will see that we will have this uh, drivable here so first of all we need to change this from this selected to shape and then here we can say Android shape and it will be oval, and then we can say stroke. Here we can say stroke and it will be width. It will be two point five pp. Then we can say color and it will be color primary. And yes, we will close this and then. we can say size and it its width will be 80 dp then we can say its height will also be 80 dp and we will also close that okay so that is it for our progress bar uh, record progress bar and yes now you can see we have this this thing all right the next thing is we need to set the background so for the background we also need to have same things record progress bar but it will be record progress bar so you need to click on copy and go to drawable and paste and instead of this bar write uh, background all right so for the background everything will be same but instead of this color primary we will have to to use the color accent all right and everything will be as it is so we can say background drawable record progress bar background all right so that was the thing which i got i missed in my last part so now we need to go to our uh, record fragment and inside this record fragment we now need to first of all uh, bind the views so for that let's first of all okay so here we can say bind view r dot id dot chronometer so since we have the chronometer here i think i did not write the code for the record uh, where is the chronometer yes i have the here so i will just say chronometer and here we can say chronometer this then we have our dot id dot recording st uh, status text and it will be text view recording status text then we have another 
uh, we have the floating action button so we can say r uh, dot id dot button record and we have floating action button floating action button all right the another we have is r dot id dot button pause and it will be a simple button and we can name it as button pause all right so we the, we uh, we have these four uh, views that we have uh, binded so here we need to have some boolean variables like m start is start recording is true and we also need to write m uh, pause recording is true so here we can say private boolean m start recording it it will be true and private boolean m pause recording and it will also be true and then we will use the long uh, time when pause and it will be zero all right so here inside our own view created method we need to write the method to for the on uh, record so what we can do here is we can say button pause dot set visibility and we need to make it go on then we can say record button sorry the floating action button so we need to change it to record button so just copy that and here we can say dot set color normal okay so i we already have the set color normal then we can say dot set color pressed and we can say get resources dot get color r dot color dot primary color primary all right and then we have the method for the record audio so for that what we can do is we can annotate it like on click and inside that we can pass r dot id dot button record and so whenever uh, the user will click on the record button this method will be called so here we can create this method like public void record audio and inside this method we will uh, write the code or uh, we will call the method on record and here we will send the m start recording here and then we will say m start recording equal to and start recording all right then we will now need to create this own uh, record method so we will just write create method and instead of this we can say start and here inside this own record method we are going to write the code for our the service that we will start so before that let's have intent intent equal to new intent and here we will say or here we can say get activity and then recording service dot class and we can okay so now we first of all let's create the, uh, the service so go to services package click on new java class and name it as recording service and then we can we will uh, do the recording service part later so here after we initialize this then here we can check if start is true then what we need to do is okay so we first of all uh, let's import a drawable for the ic media stroke so go to new uh, image asset then click on action bar then we can say stop and there we will change it to ic media stop then here inside this we uh, if method we can say record button dot set image resource and we can simply say r dot drawable dot ic media stop 
then we can simply toast a message that the recording has been started so we can say toast Uh, recording started and now we need to uh, have the directory for where we will store it so for that we will have a folder named sound recorder so here uh, what you can do is you can create file and we name it as folder equal to new file and here we can say environment dot get external storage directory plus and here we can say my sound recorder all right and then we can simply say if it this folder does not exist if folder dot exists i mean it, if it does not exist then we can say folder dot make directory and then here we can uh, set our chronometer so for the chronometer so we can say chronometer dot set base and for its base we can simply say system clock dot elapsed time real time all right and then we will just say chronometer dot start we will start our chronometer and then finally we can start our uh, service also so for that we can say get activity dot start service and we can pass our intent here and also we need to uh, keep the screen on okay so while the user is recording the screen should be on at all the time so for that we can simply say get activity dot get window dot add flags and here we will write window manager dot layout params dot flag keep screen on all right so here and also if it is uh, if the recording is not started so now we need to stop it so we will also stop the uh, activity I mean we will need to stop the service also so here we can simply say record button dot set image resource and here we can simply say r dot driver dot ic mic white okay and then we will stop our chronometer so we can say chronometer dot stop then we need to set the chronometer again to chronometer dot set base and it will be system clock dot elapsed real time and then we will say time when paused and it will be zero then we can simply say recording status text okay so i think i forgot to write this code so here we need to write recording uh, status text dot set text and here we will just say recording okay so if the recording is stopped or if the recording is paused so we can simply say dot set text and here we can say tap the button to start recording all right and similarly we will now uh, say to we will not allow this this screen to keep on so, okay so uh, remove it so here we can now just say get activity dot stop service and we will just pass our intent here all right and here we have this uh, we have completed the code for our start recording and okay so after this i think that is enough for this video if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye